There are many convenient ways to listen to music these days. Portable Bluetooth speakers. Earbuds offer quick and easy ways to stream music from a phone or tablet. You can even stream music through the sound bar you use for TV watching. We're not knocking those handy devices, but if you're a music lover who really prioritizes sound quality, you may want to make an integrated amplifier the centerpiece of your primary sound system. The one you turn to when you settle into that big comfy chair for a couple of hours of serious listening. An integrated amp is the right choice if you want to connect all your music sources to a dedicated two-channel amplifier using one component. And most of them can accommodate wireless music streaming too. We've listed the top five integrated amplifiers and their key features, plus things to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number five, Denon PMA 600 NE. PMA 600 NE is just some 50 bucks pricier than Yamaha AS301 BL, but has some additional features like Bluetooth connectivity and more digital connections. Unlike Yamaha's amp, you can only connect one pair of speakers to the PMA 600 NE, and the power output is a little lower. The amp has a great looking front panel with a brushed aluminum finish. All the controls are on this panel. You have a large volume dial in the middle, bass, treble, and balance controls on the left, and an input selector and Bluetooth pairing on the right end. In the bottom left corner, there's a headphone output. PMA 600 NE has numerous analog and digital inputs. It houses one phono input, four RCA inputs, one RCA out, two optical toss link ports, and one coaxial input. The unit also features Bluetooth connectivity and has a 24-bit at 192 kilohertz DAC on board. PMA 600 NE has only one set of five-way binding posts, so you can connect only one pair of speakers to it. It also has a subwoofer output in case you decide to add a subwoofer. The advertised output is 45 watts per channel. This amp has two special modes for improved signal clarity, analog mode and source direct. The first one turns PMA 600 NE into a fully analog amp and disables all digital inputs. The second one overrides the volume and bass treble balance controls in order to provide you with the lowest possible distortion and noise. Number four, Cambridge CXA 81. Crutchfield customers love this rock solid integrated amp. The Cambridge CXA 81 offers plenty of power, 80 watts per channel, plus the detail you want when listening to your favorite tracks. Those watts are generated by a power supply that employs an audiophile grade troidal transformer for plenty of steady, low noise current. And it has analog and digital inputs for connecting your favorite sources, including balanced XLR connections. The amp's built-in high-performance ESS Sabre SE9016K2M DAC ensures that sound from connected digital sources is clean and accurate. It offers convenient Bluetooth connectivity too. And we've always liked that Cambridge favors the classy brushed aluminum front plate, which looks super sharp in an entertainment center or equipment rack. Number three, Yamaha AS301BL. Yamaha AS301BL offers an amazing set of features at a more than affordable price. It's one of the best and most versatile integrated amps under the $400 mark. AS301BL looks simple yet elegant. It has a nice and clean front panel with some basic controls, including bass treble level adjustments, balance loudness adjustment knobs, speaker selector, input selector, volume dial, and pure direct button. The unit also comes with a remote control, so you don't have to use the control panel at all. All the inputs are on the rear panel. You have one pair of phono inputs, five RCA inputs, three RCA outputs, digital optical input, coaxial input, a USB port, allowing you to connect Yamaha's Bluetooth adapter. The unit has four speaker terminals, so you can hook up one or two pairs of passive speakers. You can use the speaker selector on the front panel to select the pair you want to send the audio signal to. The rear panel also houses one subwoofer output and impedance selector. The power output is rated at 60 watts per channel. 
the distortion ratings are impressively low. AES301BL features the so-called pure direct function, which overrides some internal circuits and enables a clearer path for the audio signal. This lowers the noise and distortion, but also prevents you from using some controls, including bass treble levels, loudness levels, and balance. Number two, Marantz PM7000N. For starters, we're not going to pretend this was an easy choice to make. Integrated amp manufacturers are packing most amps with streaming goodies these days, but the PM7000N for a couple of reasons. For starters, the HEO's operating system gives you access to popular streaming services and gives you the functionality to set up a multi-room wireless sound system with the addition of HEO's compatible speakers. Where this integrated amp truly sets itself apart is in the hardware. The built-in DAC supports high-resolution audio files and the Marantz Hyper Dynamic Amplifier Module HDAM technology offers very precise control over the drivers of connected speakers. And there's a Source Direct mode that bypasses tone control circuits for sonic purists. Number 1. Sony STR-DH190 STR-DH190 features the same design as Sony AV receivers and surround sound amps. It's the same kind of boxy design, control layout, and the same build quality. On the front side of this unit, you have a brushed aluminum panel with all the controls, input selectors, volume dial, power button, tuning buttons, and more, and a simple LCD display. Most of the inputs and speaker terminals are located on the back. The amplifier has four RCA inputs, one phono input, one RCA output, and a USB port for firmware updates only. On the front panel, you also have one auxiliary input and a headphone output plus the STR-DH190 also doubles as a headphone amp. The amp houses four sets of spring clip speaker terminals. You can connect four passive speakers, two stereo speakers, but only two speakers, one pair, can be powered at the same time. The advertised power output is 90 watts per channel. Aside from analog inputs, the unit also has an FM tuner and features Bluetooth connectivity 4.2. Selecting only one brand would be unfair and, more importantly, it would be wrong. There are so many great brands making some beautiful and powerful integrated amps right now. When it comes to cheaper amps, we're talking under the $500 level. Some of our favorites are Yamaha, Sony, and Denon. Some of the best mid-range and high-end amps are made by Cambridge Audio, Audio Lab, Parasound, Marantz, and NAD. Let us know in the comments below which integrated amplifier you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this one and it helped you in any way, please give it a like. And if you don't want to miss future videos, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, see you guys later.